the idea was to make as much noise as we could. We would show up, and it would just be shoulder to shoulder packed. Randy was better than ever, firing on all cylinders. It was just total chaos, and then it went away. But we got a hell of a story out of it. They go, Brian, you have to see this band called Quiet Riot. He's like nothing you've ever seen before. It was this huge sound, and the sound was coming straight from the guitar player. For me, it was all about Randy. You could just tell this guy was going to be a star. When Ozzy did call. That was the end of an era. He said, do you know who Ozzy Osbourne is? He said, I auditioned for him today. I said, you what? He said, all I did was plug in my guitar and all the And Ozzy Osbourne said, you're the guy. And all of it was so much feeling, it was just amazing. And he goes, well, I'd have to leave Quiet Riot. He was scared to death of having to walk up to Kevin and say, I'm leaving the band. The dream was that they were going to make it together. I met Ozzy when I was 22. I've been with him since then. According to police, they didn't make it. You wake up and you're in the middle of a field and there's a house on fire and there's bits of aeroplane everywhere and people are running around screaming. It's horrendous. Randy Rhodes is the James Dean of hard rock and roll. It was just awful. We're all devastated. Randy Rhodes will never die in my heart. He's, he's there forever. He was a small guy with such an enormous talent. He might be up there jamming with Bonham and everyone else, you know. Everything that they were doing was bigger than life. It was amazing. Randy was mischievous, he was fun. That came through in his solo. The people loved him for that. He wanted to be the greatest guitar player in the world. He made his own style. Randy was the light, and everyone gravitated to the light.